Uh, my name is Greg Little, and I'm the acting president and executive director for the South Carolina Commission on Higher Education. We'll get there. Everybody ready? Okay, here we go. On behalf of our co-hosts, the South Carolina Independent Colleges and Universities, as well as the South Carolina Technical College System, I would like to welcome you to our third annual Higher Education Day at our beautiful State House, and we held off the rain at the same time, so it's been a, a big win already today. Uh, thank you for uh, Lieutenant Governor Everett for being here as part of this special day. And I'd also like to extend our warmest thanks to uh, Dr. Hardy from the South Carolina Technical College System, as well as Dr. Perez here with the South Carolina Independent Colleges and Universities for being a part of this and helping to bring this entire event together. I would also like to thank these young people behind me who are student representatives who, stra who traveled across the state here to be a part of our event today. Thank you very much. Can you give them a, a warm round of applause, please? Can you give back to yourself? <laughs> Higher Education Day is important to us for several reasons. First, this is a great example of the collaboration and progress that's taking place across the different sectors of higher education every day in pursuit of our common goal, helping our students succeed in higher education and on their way to a bright and prosperous future. Each sector of higher education has an important role to play in delivering graduates with a broad array of relevant degrees and credentials to support our state's thriving job market. By continuing to work together, we will deliver graduates with specialized skills and training that South Carolina's workforce and economy requires. Higher Education Day also gives us an opportunity to express our gratitude to the Governor and the General Assembly for the emphasis they have placed on higher education affordability in recent years, with significant increases in both need-based grants at public institutions as well as tuition grants used at independent institutions. For example, in the fiscal year 2021-2022 budget, South Carolina increased need-based grants from $20 million to $60 million and doubled tuition grants from $10 million to $20 million. Need-based grant funding increased to $70 million in 22-23 and to $80 million in 23-24. This year's proposed budget also reflects continued levels of support for both need-based aid and tuition grant. This sends a strong message of South Carolina's commitment to make higher education within reach for all South Carolinians. Thank you for this investment in our young people in our state. I have every confidence that our graduates will provide a tremendous return of investment as they enter the workforce and further strengthen South Carolina's economic competitiveness on the world stage. Thank you again for being here today, everyone, and it is now my pleasure to introduce our Lieutenant Governor, Pamela Evan. Well, good morning, everyone. It is wonderful to be here. This is a wonderful group of young adults from all around the state. You know, when I became Lieutenant Governor um, six years ago, I was presented with a statistic that didn't uh, stand well for our state. In South Carolina, we only had 41% of our citizens who had secondary degrees or education. And at that point, we needed to, with the amount of businesses moving in and the types of jobs, really needed to be around 82%. So that is why the governor and I put such a focus on making sure that we not only froze tuition, but we were giving uh, life scholarships to people who maybe didn't think secondary education was for them when they were in high school, and then got away from getting help. And we wanted to say to them, no, we need you. South Carolina needs you. And that's why I've seen great strides in what is happening. You know, we lead the world in advanced manufacturing. But in recent years, definitely working on different forms of industry coming and calling South Carolina home. Whether it's research, working with our amazing colleges and universities, whether it's our technical schools that continue to morph and make us exactly what businesses need. I want to thank you all. You know, we need to start having a whole different look at what education really is. Back when I was going through college, not that many years ago, but 
it was like you would graduate high school, you would get your college degree, maybe you would get a master's degree, and then you would just join the workforce, and that would be your trajectory to retirement. Well, now what we need to think about is lifelong learning. Because as technologies continue to change, as different career paths continue to get more advanced, we always have to make sure that we're on the cutting edge of education. So no matter where you are at school, don't close the doors on education. Continue to look at what you're doing today as a lifelong path to getting to exactly where you need. I just want to say thank you to all of you for choosing South Carolina as a place that you wanted to stay and get your education. Please know that we are setting the bar high because we know that you can make it over without a problem. Continue to dream big. When you dream big, the sky is the limit for you. Anytime I talk to students, I like to say what my dad told me and my three older brothers. Always work hard, do good, and aim higher. And you will continue to set our state on a path that we could never even dream of. Thank you all for being here today. What I want to do now is read the governor's proclamation. The State of South Carolina Governor's Proclamation. Whereas serving nearly 238,000 students across our state, colleges and universities are dedicated to providing high quality post-secondary educational opportunities. And whereas these 75 institutions have established an unparalleled record of excellence in teaching and nurturing students, adapting to ever-evolving student needs, technology advances, and social trends, which providing a full range of educational experiences. And whereas colleges and universities in the Palmetto State share a common commitment to promoting critical thinking and creativity by preparing students to be engaged citizens and leaders in their professions and communities. And whereas higher education provides the intellectual fuel that drives South Carolina's economic engine and prepares students for successful careers. And whereas South Carolina's success in a global economy requires a capable workforce with advanced skills. And whereas higher education provides many benefits, not only to students, but to the communities in which they are located. And whereas the organizations that work to strengthen our institutions of higher learning, the South Carolina Commission on Higher Education, the South Carolina Independent Colleges and Universities, and the South Carolina Technical College System provide a voice for higher education in South Carolina. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, Governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim April 9, 2024, as Higher Education Day throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to recognize our colleges and universities for their positive contributions to ensuring our continued status as a leader in higher education. Signed by Governor Henry McMaster, proud governor of 5.2 million South Carolinians. Thank you all so much for being here today.